In a resolute statement, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky declared that Kyiv would refuse to engage in negotiations with Moscow as long as Ukrainian territory remains under occupation. The announcement comes amidst escalating tensions in the region, with Russia's President Vladimir Putin reiterating his belief that Ukraine's ongoing counteroffensive is bound to fail. President Zelensky emphasized the critical importance of regaining control over occupied Ukrainian territories before entering into any talks with Moscow. The occupation has posed numerous challenges, including a dwindling supply of military equipment for the Ukrainian forces. Zelensky revealed that the Ukrainian military would soon rely solely on Western donated equipment, as their own resources were running out. Putin, on the other hand, cast doubt on Ukraine's chances of success claiming that their reliance on foreign military support, including the potential acquisition of F-16 U.S. fighter jets, would be futile. He went as far as asserting that the fighter jets would be destroyed if used in combat. Ukraine, however, dismissed Putin's remarks, asserting progress in reclaiming territory in both the eastern and southern parts of the country. While Ukraine reported advancements made by its military units in various directions, the BBC has been unable to independently verify these claims on the battlefield. Beyond the military aspect, Putin addressed economic matters, suggesting that Western sanctions had failed to isolate Russia and had instead fueled its trade expansion with the markets of the future. He praised new trade deals with Asian, Middle Eastern, and Latin American countries, highlighting them as reliable, responsible partners. As the conflict in Ukraine intensifies, the stakes for both regional stability and global security continue to rise. The world watches with bated breath, awaiting developments that will determine the future of Ukraine and its relations with Russia.